The miracle will reach you there. Healing will reach you there. Deliverance will reach you there. Now is my time. He has lifted you up from your sickness, from your infirmity. You are healed. No incurable disease in the presence of God. Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard about the program Possibilities of Faith in Christ with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kobe? Today is the grand finale. Don't miss out. I'm not saying you never collect your own, so time now reach. Make you call, make you collect. Invite your friends, neighbors, everyone to come. Today, your blessings are short. Your miracle will reach you there. Healing will reach you there. Deliverance will reach you there. Now is my time. He has lifted you up from your sickness, from your infirmity. You are healed. I am healed. incurable disease in the presence of God. Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard about the program Possibilities of Faith in Christ with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kobe? Today is the grand finale. Don't miss out. I'm not saying you never collect your own, so time now reach. Make you call, make you collect. Invite your friends, neighbors, everyone to come. Today, your blessings are short.
my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Tonight, we are joining the psalmist. He said, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Wherever you are, as we already standing to our feet, we want to bless the Lord. The psalmist said, bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's bless him. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Begin to pray. Begin to worship the Lord. Begin to bless his name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not. All his benefits. Look at the benefits of the Lord. The great things the Lord has been doing for us since Thursday when we came. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. The Lord has saved hundreds of thousands of souls through this program. Even in this August edition, why not open your mouth and begin to bless the Lord? All that the Lord has touched, all that the Lord has done, the salvation he has granted, the deliverance he has granted, the healing we have received. Bless the Lord, who redeemed thy life from destruction. The Lord has delivered you. The Lord has saved every one of us. He has delivered us from the hands of our enemies, that we might serve him without fear. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for all that he has done. The people he has saved, all his children, all his sons, all his daughters, granting unto all salvation, making us, drawing us near unto himself. Bless the Lord. He has delivered us from sin. He has delivered us from the hands of our enemies. He has healed every one of us. Bless the Lord. Thank him for all his benefits. All the benefits of the Lord who have received. Bless his holy name. Thank him. Pray that tonight, God, we help us that tonight will be another wonderful night. A great night. To you, to me, to every one of us. A night of deliverance. A night of his mercies. A night of his love. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Psalm 105, I read verse 17. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they caught with fetters. He was laid in iron. In verse 19, until, until the time that his word came, the word of God is coming to us tonight. The word of the Lord tried him. Your case will be tried tonight. God Almighty will try your case tonight. In verse 20, the king sent and loosed him. You'll be loosed. Even the ruler of the people. And let him go free. You are going free. Tonight, whatever is the problem, whatever is the attack, whatever is the issue with you, the Lord God Almighty 
is coming to your aid tonight. He will deliver you. He will help you. Your curse will be tried in the court of heaven. And you will be discharged and acquitted. Open your mouth and pray. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Are you burnt? Are you afflicted? Are you sick? Wherever you are, begin to pray. And say, God, tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Set me free. Where we read, the Bible says, Whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron. Whatever chain, whatever burden, whatever affliction, the Lord is coming down to you to touch you personally, delivering you, helping you. Open your mouth and pray. And wherever you are, as we are praying in their far location, all that are connected to this program, begin to pray. Begin to seek the face of the Lord. Your curse will be remembered today. Your curse will be tried today. And the Bible says, the king sent and lose him. You'll be loose tonight. No yoke will remain. The last night. The last night. A night of mercy. A night of signs and wonders. The Almighty God will come to your rescue. The Almighty God, our helper, our redeemer, our deliverer, he will deliver your soul. He will set you free. He will take away sicknesses from you. He will take away affliction from you. Every yoke in your life will be broken and destroyed tonight. Open your mouth and pray. This is the time. Before we came, the Lord has been here waiting to bless his people, waiting to remove, waiting to take away our afflictions, our sicknesses, our burdens, and tonight, the Lord will not pass you by. The Lord will remember you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will visit us with his salvation. In Psalm 106, in verse 4, the psalmist said, remember me. God will remember you. O Lord, with thy favor, the favor of the Lord will not pass us by, that thou bearest unto thy people. And he said, O oh, visit me. With thy salvation. Oh, visit me with thy salvation. Today is the day for your salvation. Whatever sin, whatever obstacle, whatever yoke, whatever bondage of sin in your life, it will be broken tonight. Why not call upon the name of the Lord and say, Oh, visit me with thy salvation. Visit me with thy salvation. The Lord is hearing you. The Lord will visit you with a salvation. Tonight is your night. Night of deliverance. God Almighty will remember you. God Almighty will help you. God Almighty will break every yoke. In Jesus' name we are praying. All that have surrendered their lives unto our Lord Jesus Christ in this August edition, the Lord will give them the grace to continue. The Lord will give them the grace to abide. 
No power of the enemy, we take them away. No temptation, no trial, we take them away. No yoke will abide in their lives. Let's lift them up into God's hands that tonight the hand of God will uphold them. That tonight the mercy of God will come upon them continually, continually. The Lord will help them. The Lord will cause them to abide. That out of this great number of people, workers will be made. Great preachers will be made. Evangelists, pastors will be made. God will establish them. God will help them. They will continue. They will stand for righteousness. Anywhere they go, everywhere they go, the glory of God will be on them. The grace of God will help them. There is a man in 2 Chronicles in chapter 26, verse 5. And this man sought the Lord in the days of Zechariah. And who had understanding in visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. All our newcomers, all that surrender their lives to Christ, as they continue with the Lord, as they continue trusting the Lord, the Lord will help them to prosper. The Lord will cause them to abide. The Lord will reveal himself more unto them. Shall we pray? He will cause you to prosper. You will do his will. In Jesus' name we pray. Tell the Lord, tonight is my night. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will cause you to stand for him forever. I will stand for him. What about you? The grace to stand for the Lord, he will pour upon your life tonight. Why not pray and say, God, more grace. More grace from your throne. Lord, more grace. More anointing tonight. More of your help. More of your power. I will follow thee. I will keep your words as your grace helps us. Pray. Let the power of God come down tonight. That the word of God will have a place in your heart. Tonight, as a servant of the Lord, we teach bringing great revelations from the throne of grace. God will give you the heart. God will give me the heart to receive his word, to abide by his word. Pray that the word of God will have a place, a place in your soul, a place in your spirit, a place in your life. Tell it to the Lord. Is a God that answers prayer. He will help us. He will lead us. All that we have not received, right from Thursday when we came, today you will receive all. I will receive all. Tonight, tell it to the Lord. The night of my deliverance, the night of my salvation, the night of my breakthrough. The grace of the Lord will help you. Pray that tonight, 
a night of an unforgettable encounter. You will not forget tonight. The last night. The last night. The last night. God will reveal himself to us. Let's leave the servant of God. Our pastor. Our general superintendent. The apostle of our time. That God Almighty, all that he has given to him for us in this August edition, everything will be fulfilled. Everything the Lord will fulfill. Special anointing upon our Father in the Lord. Great anointing upon our Father in the Lord. That tonight... Nothing will hinder your blessings. Anything from the pit of hell, anything of the devil, unbelief, reject, resist, cast out, out of your soul, out of your spirit, out of your body. In Jesus' name we pray. Our God in heaven, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore thee. Thank you for this mighty concourse of your people. We are gathered for you. Unto you shall the gathering of your people be. Tonight, Lord, you will do us good. Tonight, your mercy will come upon us. Lord God in heaven, that all throughout they come tonight, it will be jubilation. Lord, your people will rejoice in Jesus' name. Thank you because before we came, you were already here waiting to bless us. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted. And Lord, as we continue tonight, Lord, you will continue with us. Glory be to your mighty name because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight is the grand finale of this program. And I want to tell you that God is coming down in a mighty way. You are going to go home blessed. Amen. And so worship and praise the Lord tonight. Something spectacular. Something great, something mighty, a miracle is coming your way tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love he.
the Lord, the Lord. Let, let the people rejoice. Oh God, come to the Father. To the Father, to Jesus. Only to Jesus. The Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord our God. 
God, omnipotent, He reigneth in majesty. Oh yes, He reigneth. The Lord reigneth. He reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Of the Lord, our God, omnipotent, He reigneth in majesty. The Lord reigneth. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord our God, omnipotent, He reigneth in majesty. Oh yes, He reigneth. The Lord, He reigneth. Sing God, praise the Lord. Who oh, sing that sing God, praise, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise His holy name, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, worship His name, praise the Lord, 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 praise the Lord. Sing hallelujah, we will sing hallelujah, we will shout hallelujah. He has set us free, set us free. I will sing hallelujah, I will sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory.
Daniel prayed unto the Lord thrice each day. Went unto the lion's den all alone. Trusting in the Lord, he did not fear or dread. By faith, he saw the victory ahead. Victory ahead. Victory ahead. Through the blood of Jesus. Victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I hear the conquer strength. By faith, I see the victory. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead, trusting in the Lord, I had a conquer strength, my faith I see the victory ahead, what about you? Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead, trusting in the Lord, I had a conquer strength, my faith I see the victory ahead. With the shepherd sling and five stones, went into the giants on the field. Trusting in the Lord, he did not fear of death. By faith, he saw the victory ahead. Victory ahead, victory ahead. Through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I get a conquer strength. By faith, I see the victory ahead. Victory. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I had a conquer strength, by faith I see the victory ahead. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I had a conquer strength, by faith I see the victory There is victory tonight. Victory for everyone. See, Daniel prayed unto the Lord thrice each day. Went unto the lion's den all alone. Trusting in the Lord, he did not fear or dread. By faith, he saw the victory. Victory ahead, victory ahead, through the blood of Jesus, victory ahead. Trusting in the Lord, I had a conquer strength, my bed I see the victory ahead. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory tonight is mine. And I told Satan, get thee behind me, victory tonight is mine. Tonight is yours. Victory is mine. It's yours. Victory is mine. Victory. Victory, Victory tonight is mine. And I told Satan, get deep in me. Victory tonight is mine. What about you? Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory tonight is mine. And I told Satan, get deep in me. Victory tonight. Victory, 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 Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. You are more than conquerors. Move on to victory. Yes. Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. We are more than conquerors. Move on to victory. 
victory, sisters. Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. We are more than conquerors. Move on to victory. Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. We are more than conquerors. Move on to victory. Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. We are more than conquerors. Move on to victory. Move on to victory. The Lord has conquered. Move on to victory. We are more than conquerors. We are marching for war. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Amen. The church is marching for war. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. The gate of hell is open. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Amen. We are marching for war. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Amen. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Amen. We are marching for war. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen, we are marching forward, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen, the church is marching forward, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen, we are marching forward, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, amen. We are marching forward, hallelujah, amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen. We are marching forward, hallelujah, amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. We are marching forward in Jesus' name. Please, uh, if you have any testimonies, the Lord has healed you or done one thing or the other for you, please come to the left-hand side of the stage here so that our leaders can see you and entertain your testimonies. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Today is the last day of this program. You know that? Just take your Bible. Let me just show you something. In John chapter 7, John chapter 7, we're reading from verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. This night, the last day, as many as are thirsty and as many as are hungry for God to visit them, the Lord will visit you abundantly in Jesus' name. And nothing will be impossible unto you. Praise the Lord. You know, before we pray, you will see that here, if you read the earlier verses of this scripture, you will see that it is the Feast of Tabernacles. It's a week-long program. And this was the highest day of that program when Jesus cried for people to come and drink out of his cup. And therefore, this Feast of Tamaracos, it is there after the ingathering of the fruits. After they have gathered the fruits, they will now come and live in booths to commemorate their coming out of Egypt out of bondage and captivity. And how they were wandering in the wilderness, they lived in boots. And so that day was a day 
they remember the goodness of the Lord and the mercies of the Lord. Tonight, you will remember God's goodness. And God's goodness in your life, you will celebrate about it in Jesus' name. Let's rise up together as we pray. Father, we thank you tonight. We praise your name for bringing us all the way from last week, Thursday, to this day, the last day of this program. Thank you for all that you have done already. We are very grateful to you for your servant whom you have used to bless us. And we believe that the blessing today will be the highest of all the blessings. And Father, we are waiting for you to pour those blessings upon us. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give me a louder amen. amen. God bless you. You keep on standing. We take our program. You open to page two of the program. If God be for us, rejoice in the Lord. Oh, let his mercy cheer. He sunders the bands that enthrall. Redeemed by his blood, why should we ever fear? Since Jesus is our all in all. Be strong in the Lord, rejoicing in his might. Be loyal and true day by day. When evils assail, be valiant for the right. And he will be our strength and stay. Confide in his word, his promises so sure. In Christ, they are yea and amen. Though earth pass away, the ever shall endure. It is written over and over again. Abide in the Lord, secure in his control. It is life everlasting begun. To pluck from his hand the weakest trembling soul. It never, never can be done. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who? 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 Who can be against us? Against us.
A big amen. Another amen. As we remain standing, we are marching to the gates of heaven to ask for mercy and the blessings of God. Though we are very many praying from all locations around the world, we must still make your voice to be heard on high. This is not a silent prayer. This is not a silent prayer. Amen. We want to start by giving thanks to God for all he has done for us in this current GCK for the past six days. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. It's worthy of our praises. Let us pray for the preservation of all the converts in this program as well as those from the previous crusades and programs that God will raise them up as a mighty army for Christ. Raise it up to heaven. I'm not hearing you. We want to pray that God will continue to sustain GCK. Division will not die. Amen. It will continue to grow. It will continue to go from one source to another source. It will not lack divine supply. Amen. Pray that God will raise up more partners and collaborators to join us in carrying us this glorious vision. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying. We want to pray for the covenant. Our own pastor, Dr. W. F. Kumuyi, for more and more strength, more power, more encouragement that God will give him many more converts in their millions and more territory to conquer for the Lord. Take it to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for our mommy Esther Kumoyi. That as her days are, so shall her strength be. Amen. Pray. She will continue to enjoy. Send her strength from above. Amen. We are again praying for our Father in the Lord, the arrowhead of GCK, and an other gospel initiative that God will satisfy him and our mommy with long life, with sound head. To accomplish all that God has committed into his hands. Take it to the Lord prayer. Let us pray as this GCK 
is winding up that God will bless you in particular uniquely so that nobody from this crusade will go home empty-handed. The Lord will target you for his special blessing. Raise up your voice and pray. We want to pray that in all the nations of the world, we will continue to enjoy divine peace. That nothing will distract us from the vision God has given to us to take this gospel to the nook and cradle of the world. This world will begin to be, will continue to experience peace so that we can be able to carry out this vision to all parts of the world. Raise your voice and pray. I'm not hearing your voice. I want to remind you what God did in Ghana. We had the support of the government of Ghana during the GCK. We want to pray. There will be similar things go as this gospel, GCK going from nation to nation, state to state, we will have the support of the government. The nations of the world will accept GCK. And by it, GCK will continue to have impact. Impact. The people in the life of those in government everywhere pray. We want to pray, God who has been miraculously providing for the needs of GCK. We want to pray, God will increase his supply. Anywhere this program holds, any nation, anywhere, God will continue to increase his supply. That GCK will never lack anything that will make it a huge success. Pray. As this GCK is coming to an end tonight, we want to pray that the blessings of God will come down like a mighty rain upon everyone in every location around the world. This GCK will be remembered for abundance of blessings, miraculously in every participant. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Raise it up. Loud and long. Amen. We are grateful to you, our Father. We have come as your children. We have come to knock the gates of heaven. You told us that everyone that knocketh, it shall be open. We are Thanking you with the confidence your doors are open and your blessing have started coming down in Jesus' name. 
all we have asked and beyond what we have asked, we will all receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Raise it up. Loud and long. Amen. And amen. God bless you. You're all welcome to the program tonight in Jesus' name. And like we have said, tonight is the last night of this program. And the Lord has been so gracious. The Lord has been so merciful. And the Lord has blessed us right from the beginning of the program till today. And tonight, like we were informed in our minister's conference today, that we are coming for the bottom pot. The bottom pot blessing will be ours tonight in Jesus' name. And all we need to do is to listen attentively and be vigilant because the servant of the Lord will be here to give us what God has for us. And all that the Lord has given to him, he will give to us, he will offload it on us tonight in Jesus' name. So make up your mind to receive your own. We want to take these announcements. As the program comes to an end today, we want you to listen that those who have given their lives to Christ from Thursday till today will shall be having a time for you, which we call the banquet, Believer's Banquet. And it will be coming the this week Sunday by 3 p.m. And so... Wherever you are, they will tell you the venue. But for us who are here in Wari, the venue for that banquet will be at the Deeper Life Headquarters Church in Deco Road, Wari. That's where we'll be having it. Don't forget, 3 p.m. on that Sunday, the 1st of September. 2024. And we believe that as you come, the Lord has something for you that will help you to build your faith. Our pastor will be very delighted to have you be in that program. And as we are closing this program tonight, you should understand that that does not mean that the crusade and the blessings have stopped. You will need to continue to rejoice in that blessing. And so the days of our programs are as follows. We have a normal Sunday services every Sunday by 8 a.m. in the morning. But we come earlier by 7.30 to start preparing and praying for that program. And then every Thursday, we have a Thursday revival and evangelism training service. And we also have a normal Monday's Bible study. These two programs come in the evening, on Monday and on Thursday. And our general superintendent handles the Bible studies on Mondays. And so we believe that as you come to these programs, by 6 p.m. on Monday and on Thursday, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you. I say, God bless you. Amen. We now bring you...
choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world.
Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to listen to some testimonies. The GCK has been a program that God has used in many countries of the world and many states here in our country to reach out to people. And it's just like bringing the ark of God and putting it beside our problems. And you know what happened when that ark was brought before Dagon? What happened? Dagon fell down. Dagon bowed to that ark. And when they persisted and set it up again, this time the head and the hand and the feet of Dagon, they were all cut off. And that was the end of that idol. The Lord who has brought GCK, he will bring an end to your problems in Jesus' name. And so we are going to listen to some of those wonderful miracles which God has done. And so please, happy listening. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! I am Dr. Lucas Christian Aldoyo, a medical practitioner. God is doing wondrous things in our midst, and we have a number of them here with us. The first is Mr. Samson, Mama, be blessed as you listen. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor William Otikberi. This papa came to the crusade. He's a member of the church. He has been in the church for more than 22 years now. But this problem started 10 years ago. He was in the problem. He told us that there are some missionaries in Ekbokodo that were assisting him until he get to this stage. Four months ago, he couldn't walk with his leg without the support of this iron. So when he, come, when he came to the crusade, the first day I saw him in the class, because we are in the Shekri class, I saw, when I saw his countenance, the man needs help. And thank God, God helped him. So on the faithful day, Sunday evening, after the prayer of the man of God, we were still closing our eyes. When I opened my eyes, I saw people, they are trilling to their vehicles. And the man just dropped this iron there and ran with them. Uh -uh. I said, what happened to him? They said, miracle has taken place. Uh -uh. I said, miracle has, why don't you wait so that we can share the miracle? So we didn't see him. Yesterday was not around. The iron was on the ground there. So when I got to the class today, Hold I saw Put your him. hands together. Praise the Lord. So I saw him sat down close to the iron. I said, Papa. Thank God, God has removed this iron from your hand. Why don't you testify of what God has done? He said, my son, there's a great joy in my heart. As I saw the boat running, I ran towards them. That's how I got home. He said, but I'm ready to go and share my testimony. So this is the iron. Okay, Without Papa. this iron, Papa could not walk. Papa, Papa, Praise the Lord. Papa, I want you to carry that iron, raise it up, and show up. us. Put your hands together. That's Mark chapter 2 in demonstration. Take up your bed and go to your house. Papa, you are healed. You will never come back to where you were. Amen. The next testimony, please. God bless you. This is it. Many more are going to happen tonight. Just get ready, get ready. You will have more. Okay. The next testifier is Miss Happiness Idris. She has wonderful testimony to share with us. Praise the Lord, children of God. My name is Happiness Idris. I'm from Kogi State, Okene, but I base in Delta State, Uru, uh, Udu region. Praise the Lord. 
So I have a testimony to share. In the year 2020, I was blind, which God helped me. They took me to the hospital, and after the surgery, I was seen perfectly. So the two eyes, they, um, God helped us, the eye was okay. But the, the left eye was having some challenge, which every time I used to feel pain in the left eye, as if they took needle in the eyes. So sometimes it will go and come again. So I just, re I just re removed my mind from the problem, thinking it's normal thing, it will go. So last month, the, thing, the pain started so severe that sometimes even when I will be in the class, when my lecturer will be teaching, it's, it's not really okay for me to look towards them. I will just take my hanky. And whenever the eyes is choking me, it will be bringing out instant, it's as if I'm crying. So since that last month, the, the pain was there. So last week, Thursday, I was still feeling the pain. So I quickly come to this place on time. I say, God, you must visit me today. I will not go back home with the same challenge because you promised me that if you open this eye for me, I will not go blind again. Why am I still seeing this pain? So I said, at the last amen of daddy prayer, I know I will not feel this pain again. Praise the Lord. So God now helped me. That Thursday night, after GS measured my case, from that Thursday I, I just checked myself. I was, you know, examining myself every day to know if it will happen. Because sometimes if I just try to look to the light, the pain will just choke me again. But since that Thursday night in today, there were no pain, no, no choking of the eye anymore. I was really delivered from that challenge. I just say I want to give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. That healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Our Put sister, your hands together. Our sister was ill of recurring conjunctivitis. God has healed her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Next testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Basirut. I'm here to testify of how God healed me of asthma. It all started when I was a year and eight months. We traveled to the village, and then we came back that night. My parents noticed the way I was breathing. And when we went to the hospital, it was confirmed that I had asthma. So since then, I've been suffering from asthma. There's no month the attack won't come from January to December. And we went, we did an x-ray test, and the x-ray test showed that there was nothing wrong with me. They just told my parents that we should continue praying. So I felt a lot of pains. And most times, when my parents were praying for my quick recovery, I'm always praying that God should just take me because the pains were too much Tell us for me. what God has done. So this... So last year, I told God I was going to 16. I don't want to go to 16 with asthma. So one of the GCK, I got healed. And since this year, I'm not taking asthma drugs. Like, I entered, I entered rain. Those things I couldn't do before, I do them now. I do bait cold water. And on Friday when it rained, I stayed under the rain. On Saturday, I stayed under the rain. Y yesterday, sun. On Sunday, I stayed under the rain. There's no pain again, no ashes. You are and healed, and completely Lord. healed. Put your hands together for Jesus, the healer. Okay. That's the much we can take from the testimonies now. Later, we'll continue. Okay. Praise the Lord. If you are happy for what God is doing, can I hear you respond? Praise the Lord! Use your last strength, because today is the last day. And you are getting last day miracle. Last day.